I'm going to go over three shipping stocks. The first one is Denounce Corporation, ticker symbol DAC. It ended the week at $91.46. It is up 6.49%. The 52-week low, $26. The 52-week high, $91. Volume about a million shares were traded when we typically see 708,000 shares. The market cap, $1.884 billion. It pays a dividend yield of 2.19%. Taking a look at the performance for the week, it is up 17%. For the month, it is up 28%. And for the year, up 245%. I've talked about this stock in the past and I've actually traded it and I've made money off of it. I pointed it out when it was $70, then it went to $73, then it went up to $78 for a nice little swing trade, and then it went back down again to $70, then to $72, and now we are at $91.46. On tipranks.com, the average analyst forecast is $100. On Wall Street Zen, it's $110. If you were to buy the stock, let's say at $92, and it goes to $100, that is a return of 8.45%. If the stock makes it to $110, that is a return of 19%. If you bought it down here and you wrote it to $92, let's just say, that is a return of about 2,500% incredible. Now, if it gets to $110, that return is 3,109%. Now, this right here is two standard deviations, and this is three standard deviations, and this is four standard deviations. This is resistance, resistance, and another area of resistance. So we are talking three standard deviations. So that is fantastic. Taking a look at the RSI, it is going straight up. This is actually overbought. Let me change that. Overbought on the weekly time frame. This is where I like to start buying my, excuse me, start selling my stocks at 70 and above. Now, taking a look at the MACD, it's starting to cross over to the upside. So it appears that this stock, barring any bad news, is going to move up on Monday. So that is fantastic. Now taking a look at this on the daily time frame, it is overbought here and it's going straight up. The MACD has crossed over to the upside as well. This is why it's so important to take a look at the different time frames because it gives you different buy and sell signals. And when you look at this chart, we're at the median here, at the middle here. And when we looked at it on the weekly, we were at resistance up here. So let me put this back to the weekly time frame and show you the next stock, EGLE. I own shares of this stock as of this moment. Uh, let's see here. It ended the day at $45.61. It is up 4.54%. Now, taking a look at... The 52-week range, the low is $19, the high is $56. Volume, 247,000 shares traded. We typically see 215. The market cap, $619 million. It pays a dividend yield of 17.54%. That is crazy. You know, it's volatile. So just remember that. Now, for the week... The stock is up 12% for the month, up nearly 2%, and for the year, 133%. It is near resistance right here along this line. And on tipranks.com, the average analyst forecast is $78. On Wall Street Zen, it's $53. If you were to buy this stock, let's say at $46, and it runs to $78, that is a return of 70%. If it just hits $53, that is a return of 16%. Of course, it may never hit this level, or it may take a very long time to do so, so keep that in mind. Taking a look at the RSI, it is starting to go up. It is not overbought just yet on the weekly time frame, and the MACD is 
starting to cross over. So hopefully the stock will start to run big time, barring any bad news. And let's look at this on the daily time frame. The RSI is going up. The MACD though has not crossed over to the upside just yet. So I need to see this go up for it to rip on the daily time frame. And this is where it's at. The next target is right up here, followed by the $53 uh, average price forecast on Wall Street Zen. Let me switch this back to the weekly. And finally, I'm going to go over ZIM, Zim. Uh, a viewer named Marat is in this trade, and my friend's husband is as well. It's a very popular stock. And it ended the week at $65.41. It is up 6.24%. For the 52-week low, it's $12. The 52-week high, $65. And of course, we are there. So we will hit a new target. And I'll talk about that in a second. The volume is 4 million shares traded. We typically see 3 million shares traded. The market cap is $7.757 billion, and this pays a dividend yield of 15%. I think last week it was 19%, so this stuff changes all the time. you got to stay on top of this. Now, the ne uh, next thing I want to show you is the performance for the week. It is up 12% for the month, 14%, and for the year, a whopping 442%. That is incredible. Now, let me change something. I'm going to change the count here so that I can show you the chart. Look, it's going straight up there. It's fantastic. It's past the middle line here, the median. And of course, the target is going to be resistance up here, but it's got to go through a couple levels to get there. Now, I want to show you the RSI. It is turning up. We are not overbought yet. Again, I like to start selling my shares at 70 and above, and the MACD has crossed over to the upside, so that looks good as well. Taking a look at this on the daily time frame, we are closer to resistance up here. This is two standard deviations. The RSI is going straight up. It is not overbought just yet. And the MACD there is looking like it's about to cross over to the upside. So hopefully the stock will rip next week. So th those are the stocks that I wanted to go over for you today. If there is a stock that you would like me to check out, please comment below. And to see my other stock picks, check out my other videos. And thank you so much for watching.